What it do, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube. I said, uh, I said, uh, oh, what it do? All right, y'all, I am back after, I think, like a week. I've been posting some TikTok stuff, but I haven't really been posting anything as far as, like, movie discussions or anything like that. I actually did a video. I'm going to post it. Uh, I just need to edit it. Um, I did a video on what I really think of Wicked. Uh, the musical and the book. Um, I'm a huge Wizard of Oz fan, if I've never told y'all this. And I'm a huge Wicked Witch of the West fan. So I had did the video, but I never posted it. So it's, it's here on my computer. So I'm going to I wanna post that. I don't know when, but I'll probably post it after I post this one. All right, y'all. So I hope everybody is doing good out there, you know, doing this uh, quarantine. Um, it's it's rough, especially for some of us that's like, that likes to get out. But Stay inside, y'all. It, it's rough, but stay inside. And that's why I'm doing this video to kind of help you out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of people right now are not working. Um, money's tight. And, um, you know, some some people may have to, uh, hell, I might have to, um, have to cut ties with some of the, some certain things. And certain things are not really dire. You know, your food on the table, stuff like that. So some people may have to let go of some of the streaming services. So, with that being said, I wanted to do this video to let you guys know of some streaming channels or apps or whatever that um, provide free movies to watch. Um, keep in mind, a lot of these free movies are not like big blockbusters that's been out for the past couple of years. Some of these are old movies. Some of them are kind of new. Um, they're usually like B-rated, D-rated movies. Um, but never um, count those type of movies out. Never count never count them out because they're they're usually some of them be a gem they be a big surprise so um i have five here that i'm going to tell you all about that offers free movies now i only the only reason why i got five is because i really didn't want to give um because i was going to google it and see how many other ones out there but i only really wanted to do the ones that i've messed with the ones that i i, I use so that way i know what I'm talking about, kind of, you know what I mean, I don't want to go out there and research, and it, yeah, free movies, but you got to do this, you got to subscribe, you got to do it, and I don't want y'all to be like, well, he didn't say I had to do all that, he just said the movies, you know, so, I got five here that I use, so that way, I know what I'm talking about, okay, all right, so, go ahead and go get you a glass or whatever, um, I got my glow family, uh, Sweet Peach, Y'all know I keeps it to the sweet peach or the sweet pineapple or the sweet strawberry. <laughs> so um, I got peach today. I'm probably going to have peach tomorrow. All right. So go ahead and pull you something. Pause this if you need to. Go pull your glass. Even cold water. If you like cold water, go ahead and get your ice glass of ice water. Or if you like your unsweetened tea with lemonade, with lemon to try to sweeten it up a little bit. That's your nasty prerogative. You know what I mean? So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, number one on the list. I am very surprised nobody knew this. Some of you may know, some of you may not. My roommate didn't know until I told him the other day. YouTube. YouTube has free movies. Um, they, are, they have a movie channel. They have a movie section. Um, you just want to log in. I don't know if you have to have an account or not. Um, if you do have an account, go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create an account. I'm going to say you're probably going to need an account for anything you may want to rent or buy or um, if it's like an R-rated movie and for age verification purposes, you may need an account. So um, if you have an account, log in. If you don't, create one. Once you log in or once you create your account, go up to the search bar, type in Mystic Shadow Films, go there, subscribe, and I thank you. Then you want to go back up to the uh, search bar. No, I'm dead serious. Go subscribe. Um, you want to go back to the search bar, type in YouTube movies. And then you want to, once um, the results come back, you want to click on uh, you, the YouTube uh, channel, YouTube movies channel. Now, they have movies there you can rent. They have movies you can buy. You can either rent or buy. But they also have a free section, free movies with ads. Uh, for those who are like me that stream a lot. You know what that means. That means you can, the movies are free, but it's kind of like little commercials. Not big commercials, maybe one, maybe about, usually about three or four com little ads in between. And then, um, so they provide the movie for free with the ads. 
And like I said, now these are not big blockbusters. Some of them are, it, you can get lucky and get a new one. But they're usually like older movies you, you may have not seen in a while. You're in quarantine, so watch it. Or B or D rated movies. However, it's free entertainment for you. You know what I mean? And if you don't like it, click it out and go find you another one. These are free with ads. YouTube. Moving on. All right, next on the list is, I think it's pronounced voodoo, uh, V-U-D-U, voodoo. I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming. I've never really heard anyone pronounce it, so I've always called it voodoo. Now, if you've ever bought a DVD, um, a DVD or a Blu-ray plus the digital copy type thing, or if it's a uh, Blu-ray plus the digital copy, I usually buy the DVD plus the Blu-ray plus the digital copy. Voodoo is one of those sites that host the digital copies. So if you've ever gotten a digital copy before, you probably know what I'm talking about. That's where you redeem your digital copy and your digital copy of that movie is hosted on that site. Now, Voodoo also has where you can rent and you can buy. The other night I rented, um, what did I rent? I rent that... Um, Color Out of Space. I rented that. It was it was only three ninety nine. Yeah, it was only three ninety nine. So for four bucks, I rented a movie. However, they also do have a free section as well. Um, you just have to uh, look at the top um, where it says free, I believe, and then it has all the ads. so there, the movies there that they have listed are free with ads. Same thing. They may not. They're not going to be like freshly, you know, released movies. Um, however you can, like I say, you may get lucky and get something, but like I said, right now, those, those moves are free, you know what I'm saying? So right now you're in quarantine. If you need to cut back, please listen to what I'm telling you. you you're, you're still going to enjoy yourself. So don't, don't get discouraged if I'm telling you they're not like up to date movies, you know, but now when it comes to voodoo, um, again, I don't know if you need to have an account or not. I have an account because I have digital movies. Um, so you may need to create an account, um. I do not, I don't believe I ever have. No, I'm going to tell you I have not. I've never provided any credit card information. Um, I had to do that during the renting process. So um, when I hit the rent, that, that's when they needed the payment and stuff like that. So I've never, when I, had my, when I had my account before because of my digital copies, I never had to provide a credit card or anything, information like that, okay? So just create an account, um, then go up to the section that says free and then see what they have for you, okay? All right, so next up is called, also, I'm sorry, I should have said this before. The streaming device that I normally use is Roku. So um, I'm pretty sure other streaming devices can get YouTube and Vudu. Um, but I use Roku. That's my streaming device that I use. All right, um, next one is Tubi. I think it's called Tubi. Same thing. They, um, they offer free movies as well. Um, I recently started using this one and I haven't been prompted to pay for anything yet. I actually watched Baby Kids today. I just hit play and watch. I believe you have to create an account and I think it's also free with ads. So a lot of these websites that are, I'm sorry, a lot of these apps or on websites that offer these free movies, usually it's free with ads and it's not that bad. It's like little commercials. Get up, go to the bathroom, get something to drink, whatever. Not that big of a deal. No, excuse me. But yeah, not to... Like I said, I just started using Tubi. So um, I haven't been prompted. Um, haven't given them any credit card information. None of that. So check them out. Free movies as well. Um, next on the list, like I said, my streaming device is Roku. So they, Roku actually has their own channel for free, well, that has free movies. So if you have a Roku, you probably already know about this. If you don't have a Roku um, and you're thinking about getting one, I would due to the fact that they have our own Roku channel with movies. Um, if you do have a Roku and you did know that, um, I don't remember. I, I think my Roku updated itself and then the channel was there. I don't remember down or did I? Down, I don't know. Just go. If you got a Roku, go search the streaming channels and um, see if you need to download the Roku channel. They have free movies for you to watch. Uh, it's also free movies, uh, TV shows as well, too. It's really good. Um, so, yeah, check them out. If you don't have a Roku, I suggest getting one. I love my Roku. I'm thinking I'm going to get another one for the living room. 
And then I also have one for my TV because I have to unplug and switch back and forth. Y'all, that is so annoying. I cannot take it. Oh, my God. So, so yeah. So, check out the Roku channel. They got some good stuff on there. I hardly use it, though, to be honest with you. Because, like I said, I have Netflix. I have Amazon Prime. I got Stars, HBO Go. Um, so, I usually mess with the stuff that I kind of have. How the you know the 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 the, the kind of new releases got it you know what I'm saying but um I hardly use the Roku channel but it's there I have browsed it before seen what they have I believe I watched a couple of things on that before when I wanted to check it out and see how it was as far as like buffering and all that kind of stuff okay and then last but not least how am I doing ten minutes okay not that bad I didn't want this video to be that long so last but not least um. No, I'm going to go ahead and say least. Um, while I do have Amazon Prime, I got it mainly for the shipping. It's just the streaming service happens to come with it. I do use the streaming service, and sometimes I do have some good stuff on there um, that I enjoy when I want to get, a, um, get away from Netflix or some of the other streaming services. The reason why I say this is because when you pay for a streaming service like Netflix and stars and all these other things i really feel that the movies everything that they have on their platform should come included with what you've already paid for and amazon pretty much advertises a lot of rent and buy and then they have like channels within it um like hbo go or stars and whatnot now i didn't do any of the hbo and hbo go and stars through amazon i did it through their website um that was before i knew amazon had did it and well, I actually, when I did sign up, I thought I could go on Amazon Prime and then sign into my account there. You cannot. If you, I, uh, if you don't go through Amazon Prime to get stars, it's separate. So I, I, that's what I thought I could do. But they also have um, the same thing. Watch for free with ads. You just have to scroll through. Now, if you do not have Amazon Prime, um, I'm pretty sure... You can still go on that streaming service if you have, especially if you have an Amazon account. Log in, go because the reason why I say that is because you can rent and buy movies and TV shows there as well. So to me, it didn't make sense if they only provided that to people who already have Prime. You really wouldn't on, on a business aspect. You really wouldn't be making money if you just cut everybody else off. So I assume if you already have an Amazon account, but you may not have Prime, you can still go on to these websites, onto the you know the Amazon Prime website or streaming channel or app or whatever you have, and then you can scroll down and see the watch for free with ads, um, or buy rent and buy. But like I said, I don't think. Um, I don't think you need to have Prime to go on there. Like I said, it, it, is, it doesn't make sense, especially if you there's stuff on there you can rent and buy when people who don't have Prime or who do have Prime. But yeah, that's my main issue with Amazon Prime. They do a lot of advertising for stuff you have to pay for, and it's like I already pay for the streaming service. I don't, I don't, I don't want to buy a movie. I mean, don't get me wrong. They do have movies, you know, added, included with Prime, but... It's just they do a lot of advertising of rent and buy, especially on Facebook. I'm like, oh, that movie looks good. Go on Amazon Prime and you have to rent or buy it. I'm like, why would you advertise that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's it. So check out these five YouTube, Voodoo, Tubi, Roku channel, and Amazon Prime. Okay? Like I said, the only reason why I gave you these five is because these are the ones that I use. I really didn't want to send you guys anywhere and there's some sort of subscription or this and that because I didn't read the fine print when I did the research. I was like, forget it. I'm going to just suggest what I already use. But I'm pretty sure there's more out there. And if I find out there's more out there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it out myself. And then I'm going to do another video. Because um, I know a lot of people right now, things are tough. It's about to get real tight for some people because um, we're all pretty much out of work. Um and like I say, some people are going to have to cut ties with some of the stuff that they use, especially streaming services. Um, but, yeah, if I find out more, I'll definitely come back ooh, excuse me, and do another video. So that way you guys um, who have to sacrifice a couple of your streaming services or the one you got, and then make sure you can still go somewhere and watch it some stuff, watch it some movies, okay, if you don't have cable. All right, so that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. 
Um, please be safe. Please, please stay inside. Take this, um, take this virus very serious. Please take it serious, okay? All right, so that's it. So thank you. Thank you for stopping by here at Mystic Shadow Film.